Hi everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm going to be breaking down Google Wars, simple hacks that will help you win. So if you have any questions, we're going to be doing Q&A at the end as well. But of course, if your questions don't get answered, you can always tweet at me and I'll make sure and I respond. So a little bit of background on me is I've co-founded quite a few companies. Most of them are in the marketing space. But when I started off, I've been doing this for 17, 18 years now. I didn't have a ton of money. Um, I didn't have a ton of people working for me or anything like that. So I couldn't leverage paid ads. So I turned to SEO because it allowed me to compete with the big brands, but without having to have the budget or the resources. And I got pretty good at it over the years. I worked with a lot of big brands like Amazon, Airbnb, uh, Microsoft, IBM, and the list goes on and on. Funny enough, I used to rank at the top of uh, page one on Google for online poker, online casino, and many other terms. And then I stopped because in the U.S., you can't really do much in gaming. So I didn't want to really deal with the law or anything like that. Um, in addition to that, I uh, have awards from the ex-president of the United States and some from the United Nations. And the overall purpose of me telling you this isn't to brag or to tell you that I think I'm great because by all means, I think I can always be better. I can always learn more. But it's more so to show you that the stuff that I'm going to share today, the tactics, the hacks that I'm going to give work well. And if you take the time to implement them, and they won't take long at all, I promise, you'll get results. And again, you know, some more testimonials, accolades, uh, awards, as I mentioned. Today in my presentation, I'm going to break down what I call little hacks that will provide little results. But if you add them all up, it makes a big impact to your business. So there's this British cycling coach named Dave Brailsford. And what Dave Brailsford believed in was that, hey, if you want to win the Tour de France, you're not going to win by just one thing. It's all the little things that add up. Do you have a really good, comfortable seat? Do your shoes fit really well? Did you get good sleep the night before? Because all these little things will add up and make you uh, have a higher chance of winning the Tour de France or any cycle tournament in that fact. And the same goes with your marketing or your SEO. If you do little things that give you a 1%, 2 3% edge on your competition and you add them all up, it'll be enough to win. So the little hacks that I'm giving you today, even though they're easy to implement, and even though alone one hack may not get you to the top, if you combine all of them, it'll actually make a big impact to your business. So first off, the first hack I have for you is translate your content. When you think about the world out there, majority of the people don't live in the United States or speak English. And I learned this from a Google employee. Not the fact that most people don't live in the United States or Britain or Amsterdam or whatever it may be. But what I learned from them is they have a ton of content on Google in English. But you know what they lack? They lack content for all the other languages. Just think about this stat. There's over a billion blogs on the Internet. Seriously, just let that sink in. A billion. That's roughly one for every seven people. Do we really need more blogs, more content? No. But when you translate your blog, when you translate into other regions, you don't have as much competition and you can actually get quite a bit of traffic really fast. Now, when I surveyed over 200 companies and we looked at what's helped them grow the most, we took this from large corporations. I'm talking about people who are making 100 plus million dollars a year. Their biggest traffic gains in the most recent years have been coming from translations. So if you go with the route of translating your content, transcribing it to those local regions, it opens up a ton of opportunity. You may not make as much in affiliate commissions from some of these other regions, but because there's no competition, you'll rank higher, you'll get more traffic easier, and you'll gobble up the majority of the traffic. So I really want you to consider translating your content. And you can do this through sites like Upwork and get a lot of translators for pennies on the dollar. If your site's hosted on WordPress, you can use the PolyLang Pro plugin that will allow you to translate your content with ease. And if you look at my traffic on neilpatel.com, you know, I'm getting a lot of traffic from the United States and places like the United Kingdom. But look at how much traffic I'm getting from regions like Brazil. And that's because I translate my content into Portuguese. I'm translating my content into German. I'm translating my content into Spanish for Spain, Mexico, Argentina, Chile. It all adds up. And that's how I've grown my traffic over the years. The second hack I have for you, 
search engines like Google really care about page speed. It's not because they expect you to have your site loading really fast. It's because users who are using mobile devices, because the majority of the searches these days happen from a mobile phone, even if they're on 4G, 5G, whatever the latest and greatest is out there, it doesn't mean that the sites actually load fast because sometimes you're in an area that has terrible reception. So what I want you to do, and this is a simple hack, is you have a server, your site's hosted from a server, but I want you to host your whole website from a CDN. Not just your static pages, but literally as many pages as you can even if they're not static. Here's a quote from Fast Company. For every second delayed in load time costs Amazon roughly $1.6 billion. That's a lot of money. That's what people think about slow loading sites. They want really fast loading sites. So use a CDN. And you may already be using one, but host your whole site, not just the static images or static pages. I have my whole site as much as possible loading from Cloudflare, and this allowed me to have an amazing score on Google PageSpeed. Quick hack has helped increase my traffic. It really works well, and it's simple to do. Hack number three, update your content. All right, so the second biggest gains, and you already saw this survey, but the second biggest gains was people updating their content. As I mentioned, over a billion blogs on the internet, everyone's writing so much content on a daily basis. And because of that, Google now has their prime pickings of what content to rank number one, two, three, four. Do you really think they want to rank a piece of content that's 10 years old or three years old when someone's releasing a new version of that? Probably not. And for that reason, you should update your content. Now, here's my traffic. Look at my stats. That's roughly 17 million visits a month and 54 million pages. Technically, I lied. It's not my monthly stats. It's roughly over a period of two, three months. But nonetheless, it's still a lot of traffic. Now, when you think about my blog, NeilPatel.com, where I'm getting all this traffic to, if you had to take a guess on how many pieces of content that I'm writing on a weekly or monthly basis, what would you guess? Maybe five, seven, ten on a week? Maybe 30 on a month? Not even close. I'm only writing one blog post a week. That's roughly four or five a month, depending on how many weeks there are in a month. But what's interesting is I have a team of three people, literally three people, who are updating at least one blog post each a day. So even though I'm writing, let's say, four to five posts a month, my team is updating 90 pieces of content a month, at least. And that allows me to grow at a much faster pace. And if you do that, what you'll find is your Google traffic over time can continually rise. The next hack I have for you, I know most of you guys think about SEO as just Google, but YouTube is the second most popular search engine. When you Google or technically YouTube search for keywords like SEO, at least in the United States, I'm ranking really highly. And in many cases, I'm number one. So how did I get there? right? On YouTube, I'm actually getting quite a bit of traffic on a monthly basis. How do I end up pulling that off? Well, a lot of it's SEO. And the way I ended up doing it is YouTube is actually quite a bit different of an algorithm than Google. With Google, slow and steady wins the race. With YouTube, if you publish a video within the first 24 hours, if it does well, they're very highly likely to rank you that day, if not within a week, really highly for almost any terms. So the key with YouTube is anytime you release a video, share that video on the social web, email it out to people. If you have a push notification list or Facebook messenger list, send it out. By blasting and promoting it in the first 24 hours, you're much more likely to get the results. And that's the key to YouTube SEO. Hack number five, I know this is presentation is supposed to be about SEO, but hey, if you're getting all this traffic from content and stuff, you may not be making that much money from your affiliate link. So it's like if you're getting all this traffic but not converting, does it really matter? No, because at the end of the day, you need that revenue. So I have this little hack that works really well because everyone loves playing games. The gaming industry is big. And in America, we have this TV show called Wheel of Fortune. Everyone loves to spin the wheel. So when you first visit my site, depending on what region you come from, I'll have a wheel and you spin it. You put in your email address. And you know what? If I know you're coming from a region where I can make, let's say, affiliate commission from, I may end up having a spin the wheel where you spin it. And no matter what, let's say you're in the UK, I may give you free X dollar bonus to play 
poker or gaming on a certain site and I can make a ton of affiliate revenue. Now my neopatel.com site, I don't do that because it's about marketing. But if I had a poker site, I would do that. And what's interesting is people love it and roughly 80% of my visitors spin the wheel. That's huge, ton of affiliate potential. Hack number six, and this is the last one, this really helps with traffic and SEO, free tools. You can generate more traffic than creating content. So I have a free tool called Uber Suggest. It gives you a lot of marketing data for free. You can type in any keyword or any URL, and it'll give you data on websites, popular pages, blog post ideas, etc. And if you type in a URL, it tells you how much traffic that URL gets, etc. Right? Now, the free tool, you can have dashboards and stuff. I try to get people to register because that allows me to collect emails. You can drip people, push them on affiliate offers through email. But here's what's interesting. Here's my traffic to the tool. I do very little promotion and marketing. It's over 2 million visitors a month. The key with the tool is it builds a lot of backlinks. And you can build tools on uh, poker odds, you know, casino odds, uh, sports betting, calculators, whatever you want. Go look at niches in your space. Build tools around it. A lot of times it can just be as simple as a calculator. You help people figure out, all right, depending on what cards they have, should they double down? Should they bet? Should they increase the pot size? Right? All these little things can help people do a better job. And you'll get a lot of traffic, links, and love. So that's it. Now I wanted to open up to some Q&A and answer any questions that you may have.